Hi, I'm Julie Robenheimer, and you're watching Julie Loves Hockey on HockeyBuzz.com. On today's show, Pennants for Penner, Ballot Stuffing Habs, and Badger Madness. Let's start with today's quotable. It's time for me to bring that part of my game up. That's a part of my game that's always been harder for me to attain. That part that Oilers forward Dustin Penner is referring to is competitiveness. Ooh, the angry love child of Brian Burke and Kevin Lowe. Fun. He said this after being called out and scratched for two games by Oilers head coach Craig McTavish. Really? Let's review. Okay, this is Dustin Penner we're talking about. The dude was cut from youth hockey teams as a kid, was not drafted by an NHL team, was cut by his local junior club three times, was then recruited to play for a Canadian junior college where he broke his femur in his first season, came back the next year and earned the most determined player award, was offered a scholarship to the University of Maine, helped the Black Bears to the NCAA championship game, signed as a free agent with the Anaheim Ducks a week later, played two years in the AHL prior to earning a full-time roster spot with the Ducks, won the Stanley Cup in his rookie season, and then signed a monstrous offer sheet with Edmonton. Come on, Dustin, a little motivation here, some determination would be good. The good news is that Dustin is back in the lineup and scored in his first game back. Jeez, Dustin, finally! Okay, remember in high school when people voted for student council and your friends would go to photocopy ballots and stuff the boxes in order to get you elected? Okay, stay with me. Do you remember thinking, hey, someday we'll be able to write a massive computer-generated script that will make a sham of a major sports league's all-star voting process? I do! If this sounds like you, you went to high school in Montreal because this year on the team's official message board, fans created and utilized a JavaScript that repeatedly voted for Habs players every few seconds. The NHL is looking into this and NHL spokesman Gary Mahar told the CBC that while he didn't want to jump to conclusions at this point, there is some indication that something has happened. Yes, NHL, there are some possible reasons that I sort of, maybe, partially agree with you that something has happened, I think. All this means one thing, get out and vote. By which I mean create your own JavaScript to automatically vote for your team's players. Now that we know this is a computer scripting slash tech competition, my bet is on the San Jose Sharks sweeping the West. <laughs> so who said Badgers can't play defense? This year's University of Wisconsin hockey team boasts five defensemen that were drafted in either the first or second round in the NHL. Those Badgers are Jamie McBain, Ryan McDonough, Jake Gardner, Brendan Smith, and Cody Golubuff. The collective name for a group of Badgers is a clan or a colony. Those five D-men account for 46 points in 12 games, ranking first in the country in points, goals, and assists. It's not nice to boast. However, that is the most in all of college hockey, and only the Florida Panthers have more such defensemen with six. And this leads us to a segment that we like to call, Hey, what's with your mascot? <laughs> okay. Belong to the same mammal family as ferrets, weasels, and otters. Badgers are fierce animals and will protect themselves at all costs. Must be why they take so many penalties. The Wisconsin clan leads the NCAA in penalties, averaging 24 minutes a game. Typical Badgers are short-legged and heavy-set. The good thing their PK is good. Badgers are capable of fighting off much larger animals, like wolverines from Michigan, black bears from Maine, and whatever a fighting Sioux is. Okay, we've said too much. <laughs> and finally, today's viewer mail. Hey Julie, how can you have a viewer mail segment if this is the first show you've ever done? From Eckland. That's a great point, Eck. If you have a question, comment, or general concern, you can email me at julielovesHockey at gmail.com and we just might put your question on the air. Well, that's all for this episode of Julie Loves Hockey. Thanks for watching and remember, without the buzz, it's just hockey. We'll see you next time. episode of 
episode of Julie Loves Hockey. Thanks for watching, and remember, without the buzz, it's just hockey. We'll see you next time. Oh, that is recording. Yes. I, couldn't, I couldn't see. I couldn't see the.